Hi guys, welcome back to um, another day. I have this little circle on my face. Uh, don't mind it, I have to clean my camera. But I'm with China again. She was in the last vlog and we're at this place um, called Barbara. Is it Barbara or Bar Barbara? <laughs> Barbara maybe, it's called Barbara or Barbara, we're not too sure, but um, yeah, it's a beautiful day right now, I'm literally facing the sun, it's like a little too hot, but I'm not complaining, because the way it's been raining, like, I'm just excited to be outside the house, um, but yeah, China's been to this place, place before, know, you guys know I love me some margaritas. It comes with like sea salt and eggplant and looks like a little bit of parmesan, peppers, peppers. Yeah, and it's this one on the menu. Don't mind menu, it's so ugly, but it's this one right here on the menu if you decide to come here. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's giving like pizza. Yeah, pizza, yeah. Mm -hmm. Without the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can go vegan. <laughs> it's not vegan because there's cheese on it, right? Is that cheese? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> when, what time are you done? Oh, oh. God. <laughs> oh. Very good, yeah. No, never. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was up? Pasta. This is the one that's literally like Parmesan and like hot sauce. Yeah, right? No, uh, no, I had to. Okay, what'd you get, Cheech? I got the green salad with a side of lobster. Yum. As she has what the lobster is looking like. Yum. It looks very lobster. The lobster is lobstering. <laughs> this girl said, anyways, I'm gonna just eat my shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tag this place, Barba. My mom literally is always like, you're always eating. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's like, you're always out. Oh, thank you. Here. Do you actually, sorry, do you actually have like la lime? Yeah, two times? Oh, sure, yeah, thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah, I forgot you worked at it in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn you get your arm like all the way here. Cheers. Cheers. Woo! Again, okay. <laughs> Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Hi you guys. Um I don't know if that noise is gonna be too loud, but today is officially my last day in Montreal and I'm actually so sad <laughs> that I could literally cry on camera, but I'm not. I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um hold on, let me catch myself. <laughs> I leave today at like 7 p.m. so I do still have a full day in Montreal. Unfortunately, I won't be able to go to the Merle Festival. It's like an art festival. Um, I did not plan myself properly last night and the day before. So unfortunately, I cannot show you guys that side of Montreal and the arts and music. But it's all good because we're going back to Toronto and we have three more weeks until I officially start back school and life again. So definitely stay tuned for a life update. I'm trying to think if my December vlog had patinos. I've never been there, so it's like, Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, it's really good. It's like really full breakfast. There's like sweet, savory, like everything. Um. At least just do it all white. Yeah. Uh. We're at Patino's in Griffin Town. <laughs> last day in Montreal! Everyone on three, one, two, three, last day! <laughs> Me and Chrissy basically got the same thing. That's a lot of uh, sauce, I don't yeah, even know what that is. Though. It kind of looks like mayo. It does look like mayo. It looks like mayo, I don't know if it looks as like... Oh. Mazzy's just trying to find See, I wanted my thing to look like the chocolatey, but I think I can't eat... I can't eat Yeah, well. Nutella. And that's what Maya got, she got Eggs Benny, you know, the deal. Love a good Benny, and then Ali got basically the same thing as Christy, but then she got like a side of Oreos. Don't ask. <laughs> Don't ask. A side of Oreos. This will be on there, and I didn't want it on there anyway. <laughs>
So if you guys cannot tell, I'm back in Toronto. <laughs> And I'm miserable, I'm miserable, I'm upset, I'm sad, I'm just, I'm just really like, I'm really just sad, honest to God, I'm really just sad. Um, but yeah, basically, that flight to Montreal to Toronto was horrible, I honestly couldn't even like, pick up my camera because I was so angry, and now that I'm back in Toronto, I don't even feel like doing anything about it, it doesn't even make sense. But basically, my flight from Montreal to Toronto was at 7.15. I got there, of course, early, so 5.45, I would say. Um, and after I did all my crying and my hugging, it was like 6. So basically, I got there like an hour before my flight, which I normally do now because I realize there's just no point of staying in an airport unless you're going international. It's just like there's nothing you can do. Everything's closed. It just doesn't make sense. Sorry, my top was <laughs> on backwards, but um, or the wrong yeah anyways so basically i got there for 7 15 the flight changed to 9 15 which meant that the time i got to the airport which is only is mad long like who's gonna sit there for four hours three hours so um it changed from 9 15 and then it changed to 10 and then it changed to 10 48 which is a weird ass time anyways the time was just going back 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 by the time i got to toronto it was like one o'clock in the morning um that was honestly the worst flight I've ever been on in my life when I say like everybody around me was so angry and honest to god I don't even know I just I was so ready to complain like that's the first thing I said I was gonna do when I get in the morning I was like I'm gonna send an email like these people are gonna hear from me today but then I just like got to my bed in Toronto I was just like I arrived here I'm safe I was like am I really like I just try to like pick and choose like what makes me angry and I'm like this Although I was angry, I don't even care anymore. So, yeah, I didn't even end up, like, calling anybody. I just said, forget it. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, basically, I'm in Toronto right now, um, settling in. It is unlike me to have not packed yet, but I think it's just because I'm going through withdrawals. <laughs> like, I'm low-key actually really sad because I actually had such a freaking good time in Montreal, like... You guys don't even know. You guys are about to see, what, almost five vlogs in Montreal? But there's days. When I say days that I did not vlog that were so amazing. But I was just in the moment. That was the entire, like, that was the, the trip for me. That's what I wanted. I wanted to be in the moment. I wanted to enjoy every single day of it. So, you know, there's days, obviously, that I didn't pick up my camera. And I don't regret any, any of it because I actually was in the moment and enjoying what I came there for, which was to just, you know, like a little like mental restart. So yeah, I had a really good time. Um, thank you to everyone who made my time in Montreal amazing. You guys are most likely watching this because you guys obviously love me. Um, but yeah, I had a really, really good time. Um, the reason why I had that much time to go to Montreal was just because um, I quit my job. I quit my job, I spent six weeks in Montreal, quit my job. So, yeah, basically, um, I'm going back to school on September 7th, so it's, def it's definitely going to be a lot to, like, take in, considering I'm not a huge believer in school. <laughs> I believe, like, learning is important, but I just feel like every job is, like, transferable. Like, you can learn skills on any job. You don't need to go to school to learn skills. I just think there's, like, a, an acquired skill that you should know if you're, like, joining a job. Like, obviously, you don't lie on your resume, but... You know, you can get your spicy resume up a little bit, right? So you can't always be like, I'm this is that. You just you want to learn in a job as well. So um I'm really rambling right now. So basically I'm going back to school um and I'm doing YouTube full time. Okay, so I basically got everything I need from IKEA. I took so long in there because he was basically telling me that like things were mix and match and I was like, Okay, I want a whole white chair and he's like, Oh, we don't have that right now and I was just like, you know what? Like, I can do with this black and white thing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys when I settle back into my house.
Okay, so this lady's like, are you waving? I was like, yes, I am waving. Can you give me like five seconds? It's fucking, I'm so hot right now. Okay. I probably shouldn't have rushed myself out of there because I need to connect my my music. Like, what is this? I really was just like, yes, sis take my spot i don't even know where i'm going like okay so basically i had to get my dad to help me because your girl was lost but i got this well let's just start off with the table i got this little lamp i really like the concept of it how skinny it was it didn't really take up that much space i got this white desk this took like four hours i kid you not it took forever so cute i already feel like a student <laughs> question tell me what you think about me i'm a vegan food um, and yeah so let's go inside and let's <laughs> so let's go inside and take a look I'm trying vegan food I'm so excited so me and Char what do you want to get Char I'm thinking of the watermelon cucumber salad because everyone's been talking about that everything literally looks yeah, so there's so much selection. So, excited. <laughs> so we both got a drink. I got you guys. Of course, you guys know I love me some um, grapefruit. So of course, I had to get the drink with the grapefruit. I don't even know where the drinks went. <laughs> where did they go? Were they on here anyway? Oh, no, it's right here. My bad. So I got the Casa Paloma because I heard this one was really good. And you guys know I love grapefruit, so that one is mine. Mm -hmm. And then Shardy got the which one? Charcoal sour, which is literally so cool. Yeah. Because it's like it's charcoal. That's so dope. <laughs> oh my god. Is that is amazing. And this is the charcoal. Oh yeah. I'm scared of that one. Oh yeah. You guys know I'm like crazy for these like angles. I apologize. But the drink is hidden. <laughs> Yeah. Ring from Seji. <laughs> um, a lot of stuff actually. I'm really excited to show you guys. Um, but in the meantime, let's turn up. Okay, so this is our squash pipian. This is the jackfruit tinga, our baja mushroom, potato chorizo, and the cauliflower adobo. Oh, and nice. then over there is our empanada. Oh, yum. Oh. oh. Salad. Yeah. Oh, you just knew yeah. who's with who's. <laughs> the watermelon one was definitely mine. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Coconut corn fresh with your dehydrated olives for your Caesar salad. Those are, um, we take tamari, which is like a soy sauce, and we mm -hmm. dehydrate the mushrooms so they become like a bacon texture. Yeah. And that's our almond cookie on top. Does it wow. have like a saltiness as well, too? Like yeah. Okay, wow. Like, look at this. So good. Uh -huh. Pay to come here and still eat free. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna try the jackfruit. This is the one that I actually asked for. Shardy was like, I don't want no jackfruit. <laughs> no, I, mean, I barely see jackfruit in there though. That looking like minced beef. I know, that's the thing about vegan food. Yo, they be like confusing you. I'm surprised. <laughs> That's what Jack was saying. Oh my god. Stop it. It's like jerk. Stop it. But jerk, but more like the foot Let me try it. This is like pineapple. It is pineapple. Bro, where's the jerk fruit? The jack fruit. The jerk fruit. You hear me? <laughs> Yo. What if it is in the kitchen? 
Yo. You're trying to find it's like spicy? Mm. It's like the perfect spice. I love hearing people laugh in restaurants. Sorry? I love hearing people laugh in restaurants. I don't know, it gives you like this vibe of like everything's okay. Yeah. <laughs> like people are really enjoying themselves. I love yeah, that. I love it. Question, do you actually get mostly vegans here or like? Uh, mostly, I want to say, yeah, like I want to say, nice. we do attract many plant-based people. Yeah. They want people who are plant-based. Yeah want a place they can go to and enjoy themselves without having to worry about what's in there yeah yeah, yeah. and uh you know so now we have a new drink this one is the kombucha one and you guys know i love me some kombucha so i got this one it looks like it's giving blueberry purple lime mint type of vibe and then char got the classic margarita with the egg foam on top which also looks really good Guys, I might just go vegan because that was literally amazing. I loved every single bit of this restaurant. You guys should definitely head over to Planta Cocaina Coquina. It is the Mexican version of the Planta franchise. There's different ones in Toronto and Montreal and Miami and LA. Um, there's also a Japanese Planta. So just make sure you come to this one because this one's just serving Mexican delicacy and it's vegan. And it's awesome so yeah um, I wish I could do like a quick OOTD but I actually don't really like what I'm wearing today it's like so basic literally basically jeans and a top I was originally in heels and then just changed it to flats because she always in flats but yeah that's the vibe we're just gonna walk downtown I'm just waiting for Charday and yeah your girl is Liddy off of four drinks <laughs> Yo, you're such a hood nigga. Why? Yo, it's not even that bad. Sure, they're such a hood nigga. Like, it's only not. hood niggas would put would put music on while walking it's down the street. It's not trap music, though. It doesn't have to be trap music. Like, you, you can just know. walk in silence. <gasps> Tell me this is not a beautiful picture. Yo, you know what's so funny? I saw this on Pinterest. That's crazy. What did you see on Pinterest? Like, the CN Tower between the black yeah. bottle bottles. <laughs> I really call it at buildings. The bank and Tell me Scotia. that's not gorgeous. Uh, oh, MG. I don't know how many times I can take a video of this poking? thing. Oh, he's poking. Good fame, everybody know my name when I come through. Don't nobody screaming like you.